Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Now, about a week ago, I did show you guys an awesome clothing glitch that allowed you guys to put this outfit that you can see my character wearing on screen right now. It included this rare blue jacket that you can't actually purchase in the game, as well as the black joggers and military boots. And going off the feedback, it seems like a load of you guys really seem to like that video. And I got tons of comments asking me, can I post more clothing glitches? So instead of showing you guys one modded outfit tutorial, I thought I'd put together a video showing you guys two awesome modded outfit tutorials plus i will leave a link to the rare blue jacket outfit video down low in the description in case you guys haven't seen that video yet so as always if you guys do enjoy this video and you do want to see me cover more awesome clothing glitches and modded outfits in the future all i ask is you drop a like down below feel free to subscribe if you guys are new as i do post daily gta 5 videos without further ado let's get into the video Okay, so for the first modded outfit in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get this rare Tron outfit. Now, I will say there is like two, three different versions of this outfit that you guys can do depending on what look you guys are looking for. So in some cases, you can have a tube coming from your mouth. In other cases, you can go for the hat mask and accessories glitch. So I will cover both styles of outfit so you guys can go ahead and put your own little unique touch on this outfit. Okay, so the first thing you guys want to do is apply any of the Tron suits to your character. The great thing about this glitch is it does work with every single Tron suit and there's a ton of different colors to choose from. So if any of you guys want a certain color scheme for this modded outfit, you'll be able to do so easily. Now, as you guys can see, when I go into my wardrobe, as soon as I go to change the top, it changes the entire outfit. So what we want to do from here to change the top, but keep the Tron pants, we want to go down to the top section. You want to go down to special and you want to apply the Nagasaki black hoodie as you guys can see. Now, as soon as my character is wearing the Nagasaki black hoodie, I'm able to split this outfit in half using it for more glitches. Now, from here, you want to go over to any clothing store in the game. Now, as soon as you guys arrive at the clothing store, head off to the counter and then save this as an outfit. Now, once you guys have saved this as an outfit, go up to the outfit section and you want to go down and apply the green flight suit to your character as you can see me doing on screen. Now, once your character is wearing the flight suit, you want to leave the clothing store and simply head over to the strip club. So you're probably better off going to the clothing store that's right next to the strip club to save you guys a bunch of time in the long run. Nonetheless, as you guys can see, once you're in the strip club, you simply want to pull off your interaction menu. You want to flick over to your Tron outfit and then you want to simply walk out of the strip club and then bang, as you guys can see, your character gets this very rare and modded looking tube coming from his mouth. Now, from here, you guys can go ahead and see save this as an outfit if you want it looks pretty sick in my personal opinion or if you guys do prefer to go for a different option then head back to your apartment you still want to be wearing the outfit that you just made pull up your interaction menu and you simply want to apply any of the masks that you think will go nice with this outfit so as you guys probably know there is a ton of new masks that look really funny with this new mask hat and glasses glitch I personally like to go for the bug store one because I think it looks decent with the Tron lights. But like I said, it's completely up to you. You can choose whatever one you like. Now, once you guys are wearing the mask, you simply want to do as I do on screen. Run straight past your telescope in your apartment. Now, instead of tapping it and then running away like I used to, what you actually want to do is double tap right because that will actually cancel it out as you guys can see on screen. This actually took me three goes. I'm not going to lie. It is quite tedious, so it might take a few goes. But as you guys can see, once I walk away from my telescope, I pull up my interaction menu again and now from here I'm able to add as many hats, accessories, glasses, whatever I want on top of the mask. Of course the mask isn't showing up yet but as soon as I walk away, bang, my character is now wearing this rare modded bug star Tron outfit and from here all I have to do is just head downstairs and then save this as an outfit once more. And of course you can add stuff like a duffel bag onto the outfit. Me personally, I decided not to, but if you guys do also want to add a duffel bag, I will leave a link down below in the description how you guys can do so. However, once you guys have done all the parts to put this modded outfit together, don't forget to go into your wardrobe or the nearest clothing store and then save this as an outfit. Then you guys can turn off your Xbox or PlayStation, come on the next day and you will always have this outfit saved. However, moving straight into the second modded outfit tutorial, and this is an outfit that I've been wearing in a lot of videos recently and I've noticed tons of comments from you guys asking me how how the hell do I put this outfit together? So I thought it only made sense that I went ahead and showed you guys. 
Okay, so the first thing you guys want to do is go ahead and equip any of those glowing body suits that came out with the deadline adversary mode. I'm pretty sure you guys know which ones I'm on about. You can go straight down to the bottom and you can see right here there's three different colors you can choose from. Now I will say another great thing about this glitch is the joggers and the shoes that you saw my character wearing, you will get different colors and different combinations for all three of these body suits. So as you guys can see on screen, I'm going to be using the pink and green body suit to get the camo joggers and the purple high tops if you guys want to get a different color like i said just select a different outfit now once you guys are wearing the bodysuit all you have to do from here is head on to any barber shop in the game okay now once you guys arrive at the barber shop you just want to go up to the barber sit down and then simply go ahead and change your chest hair you can select any chest hair this won't make a difference just make sure that you actually change your chest hair now what you guys will notice is when i back out the chest hair menu my character's joggers have already changed However, if I back out fully from this menu, the joggers won't actually save and my character's bodysuit will just reappear. So what you want to do from here, go back again to chest hair. So you want to change the chest hair again. Then from here, you want to go down and change the contact lenses. Now, as you guys can see, as soon as I change my contact lenses and I back out, bang my character is now wearing these rare joggers now once you guys have got the rare joggers on the bodysuit you want to save this as an outfit now once you guys have got it saved as an outfit you do want to have another outfit with the juggernaut suit so you simply want to switch over to the jug suit now from here this part is the most tedious i'm not gonna lie it did take me quite a few goes to the point where i actually thought it got patched However, there is a slight little trick to get around this. Now, when you're wearing a jog suit, as you guys can see, when I go into the animation to actually look through the telescope, he removes the helmet. However, he keeps the entire suit. Now, what you guys actually want to do is run straight past the jog suit. However, as you guys can see, I'm tapping it once and trying to move away so I can still access my interaction menu. However, what I want to do instead is double tap right to access the telescope and then quickly just move to the left and that will prevent my character from looking into the telescope now from here all i have to do is pull up my interaction menu go down to style and switch my outfit back to the outfit that we just saved with the rare joggers and then bang as you guys can see my character now has this modded outfit combining three different outfits to put together one crazy looking outfit and if i want to take it one step further i could probably do the invisible feet glitch on top of this nonetheless once you guys have put the outfit together make sure you guys go into your wardrobe at any clothing store and then save this as an outfit and you guys will have it saved even if you turn off your console you come back on this outfit will always remain here now it is worth mentioning ever since the latest update rockstar games have actually released the juggernaut outfit as an item you guys can purchase it's actually called the ballistic equipment so if you guys do prefer rather than saving the juggernaut outfit as a glitch because you can't actually access a lot of stuff when you're wearing that outfit as i'm sure some of you guys are aware like your office or your bunker so it can be quite tedious and what you can actually do is go ahead and use the telescope down by the pier with the ballistic equipment and it'll work it just as good i've got a friend to try out early and he had no problems whatsoever so there we go guys two awesome modded outfits currently working after the latest patches 1.40 on the ps4 xbox one and pc if any of you guys do go ahead and put these outfits together do be sure to tag me in any pictures you guys take on twitter all my social media will be down low in the description i'll be sure to drop you guys a like and also it is worth mentioning just last night i kicked a bunch of inactive players from my second gt a5 crew laser gaming crew because i know a ton of you guys literally a day doesn't go by on youtube without me reading a comment from you guys asking can i kick some inactive players i'm looking for an active crew so you guys have the chance right now to join my crew because what i have noticed is instead of me talking about me freeing up space in the crew at the start of the videos i'm going to start doing at the end of the videos so the people that actually truly watch my videos and really do want to join the crew know exactly when to do so as of right now there's tons of space in my second crew called laser gaming crew tons of active members and it is based for all platforms if you guys aren't aware i do have some other crews laser gaming x1 laser gaming ps4 and laser gaming pc all three of those crews are exclusive to those three platforms that they're based on so please if you guys do play on xbox one don't go ahead and join the ps4 crew because i can check if xbox one players have joined the ps4 crew and likewise if xbox one players have joined the ps4 crew so there really is no point joining a crew on a platform you guys don't play on because you guys will be getting kicked in the future and also as i promised i just want to let you guys know i will be doing a top three best rare paint jobs video tomorrow i actually did record it yesterday but the footage 
actually corrupted and half of it was like scuffed as fuck so i thought i'd just go ahead and record the whole thing for you guys seeing as you guys really do enjoy the paint job videos if you guys do want to see more clothing glitches and modded outfit tutorials in the future all i ask is to drop a like down below feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video Peace.